原発の1号機で今日午後3時半過ぎに爆発音が聞こえ、白煙が上がったという。Evacuated. We're living in evacuation quarters away from our homes. We want to tell you please learn from the lesson of Fukushima. We do not ever, ever want any more people to have to go undergo what we are doing living in evacuation with our lives broken. So please, please hear our voices. We will be speaking out loud because we believe that. There should be no more people like us, and this not happening again. Thank you very much. Most farmers in Itate are dairy farmers. Used to be dairy farmers, he corrects. Today, a third of the people of Itate live in the evacuation center. He happened to be on his field when the catastrophe occurred. The earth around him suddenly made waves. When the earthquake ebbed away, he ran to the village. His village, his house, his family were still there. Only the next day he learned about Fukushima. As spokesperson of the district, he was invited to a meeting in the community center. He asked for information about Fukushima and the radiation. When he was given the measurements, he was shocked. He was told to keep silent about them. He returned to Itate and arranged a village assembly for the next morning. In this meeting, he passed on all the information he had. He told people to leave their homes only in emergencies, to switch off ventilation, to change and wash all clothes, not anymore to eat vegetable from the garden or to drink milk. This was on March 15, 2011. That day, 100 microsievert per hour were measured near the village.